hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel to go funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is funny lungu and if you're new welcome hope you subscribe and for those returning welcome back thank you for sticking with us um thank you for subscribing thank you for constantly watching suggesting stuff to do uh we're very very grateful thank you for 20,000 subscribers you guys are the best uh please keep subscribing and most importantly continue to motivate us by uh, suggesting stuff for us to react to we'll be very very grateful and we'll be glad to react to them you can find us on social media facebook and instagram funny and jesse um just head there say hi we'll say hi back or suggest something there if you're too shy to suggest something below these comments and yeah we'll be more than glad to get back to you and do whatever you suggest you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out you can also um Check out my blog morning coffee with funny and just enjoy the content that i put out you can check out jesse's photography on jesse kegan on instagram if i'm not mistaken and just check out his amazing pictures and yeah so today i'm going to be reacting to before you die these signs will happen so without wasting time let's get into the video before that day comes, there are signs. And it's quite unusual that some people, they say, I didn't have a sign before I died. Everyone has a sign before they died. Everyone. But these signs are different. They come in various forms. Some people have immediate signs of death before they die, such as illness, such as even spiritual feelings. Others, they don't have any of these signs. It just hits them like that. But the signs I'm talking about is time. Time. As time progresses, as you grow in age, you're actually getting smaller in age. And therefore, time is one of the signs. Age is another. White hair is another. And the Prophet ﷺ said, everything has a cure, except for two things. Al-Mawt wal-Haram. Death and age, old age. There's no cure for old age. This world ending shows us that when Allah says that everything's going to die it means everything in this world including the world itself Allah says in the Quran everything on it will perish the only thing that will be left presence of your Lord and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in several verses that the world and the sky will perish and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to say ad dunya faniya the world is going to perish a man asked him again when is the last hour he said, don't ask about that. What have you prepared for it? But the point is, they're asking because the Prophet had told them, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the world's going to end. Allah says, the earth, the world, and the sky will be changed. From the world and the sky, you knew once, to another world and sky. Meaning Allah is going to destroy it and recreate another, different to it. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, He replies to those who deny the end and resurrection. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, look, at the way we created the life as an example of why how we are going to resurrect you look at how he sends winds and clouds as a good sign for you when the clouds fill up we take it to a land that is dead nothing it's dry drought and from it we bring back life of fruits just like that Allah says just like that or similar to that we will raise the dead people and Allah says, Kalla satu Behold, you shall be resurrected. The signs are many. There are minor signs and major signs. As for the minor signs, they began the minor signs of the closeness of the world's end. The death of the Prophet Naam, his death. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, the day of accountability has come very close to the people, while the people are in an illusion of their own. Ghafla, they're forgetful of it. They're too busy to away from it. Yalabun, they're playing. They're playing around. Allah says, Do you not consider that when the day comes, it may come to you while you are playing, or while you are just in ghafla, forgetfulness, or unaware? 
So when the world ends, brothers and sisters, it will be a time where the majority of the people of the world are going to be in losthood, forgetfulness, ghaflah, meaning unaware, too busy with imaginations and illusions and things, ideas they've made up. And Allah says in the Quran about these types of people to the Prophet Wasallam, when the Prophet tried to call them and, and teach them and he would tell them, please listen to me, I want to save you. And, and a lot of them wouldn't listen. Allah has said to him, let them eat and let them entertain themselves and let them play and let false hope delude them. And he let their hopes, let it delude them. Let it take over their minds for a little temporary while. At the end of it, they're soon going to come to know the reality. It's going to face them. It's going to grab them. It's going to face them right in the face. And they can't run away from it. Um, I don't know how to feel about this because um, it's a lot. So what exactly would one want to focus on, you know? Because um, I picked up, from this video I picked up time, age, white hair, too busy, all those two are signs that life is ending or your life is ending, you know? Um, so to speak on time, uh, for time, of course sometimes we feel like we have time, but how do you explain time in a situation for someone who dies at a young age? How do we explain that? Wow, time also leads to age. Others have lived this world for hundreds of years. Of course, yes, they grow old. We expect them to die soon. But um, shockingly, they even not live the young ones, you know. Um, of course, sometimes you live life and depending on where you're coming from, there's also life expectancy. So you can say, okay, maybe by 100, this family will not exist anymore, you know. Um, I guess it's a process, you know. Uh, you come into this world, you grow up then grow old die i feel like it's a process especially for people that believe in the in a world after this because a different heaven was mentioned in this video actually although i'd love to ask do we um come back as our older selves or younger selves or at, at an age where we died i'd love to know that and then there's white hair, sometimes people will say white hair symbolizes wisdom, but also I guess it's a sign that you're about to, you know, but young people have white, some young people actually have white hair, so what do we say about that? And I've actually heard stories of where people actually know that, you know what, maybe they've been sick for a long time and they're like, you know what, I think it's my time. This time I'm actually dying. I want heal from this. No medicine can save me. While um, others really say not not that I would I wouldn't know if they say they didn't expect it, but maybe circumstances they enter maybe a sickness, whatever it is, doesn't signal that it's ending. Cause imagine being in a car accident. How do you know that you're going to be in a car accident? How do you explain that? Otherwise, many of us are too busy to even notice any of these signs because we're too much into these worldly things. We're distracted by that outfit that I need to buy. We're distracted by that wine that has to be drunk. We're distracted by that food that we have to eat. We're distracted by all these places we have to visit. Um, that one is pretty much clear. But otherwise... Do you think, do you guys actually think people actually notice these signs? The ones that I've spoken about, of course, other signs were spoken about, like the death of uh, the prophet and the end of the world itself. Do you think people actually notice that, you know what, soon it's going to be my turn to leave this world? Um, let me know what you guys think. If there's something you want us to react to, drop the link down below. We'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next reaction video.